Hey guys, hi Ando. Welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be talking about DynamoDB transaction. I'll show you a small demo, how you would be able to do that using uh, PyNamoDB library. So transactions are very, very important. And uh, let's consider a very simple use case. Say you have a table where, or let's assume a banking application, right? You have two user A and B. Uh, each user has, a th uh, let's say the user one has 3000 rupees or dollars, user two has zero and both the accounts are active. When you want to transfer money from person A to B, right? So what happens is basically you're going to check whether the person has the balance to transfer, right? And is the account active? If that is true, then did, uh, deduct the amount from that person's account and then increment uh, the amount into the second person. And of course, you're going to check whether his account is active. If any of the cases are not met, you don't want to commit the transaction. That's exactly uh, what I'm talking about, right? You could essentially implement this in DynamoDB. And let me show you with a very simple example. Uh, so here I have a simple class called bank statement, which has three item, user ID, account balance, and is active. Now, observe carefully on this. Uh, here I'm inserting two items into DynamoDB. The first user with 3000 rupees, uh, let me put this zero the second user with zero amount and both the accounts are active. Now, the way you implement a transaction uh, using PyNamoDB is you make a context manager. So here on line 41, I'm creating an instance of a class connection. Then I'm using a context manager, passing in the connection, passing in the uh, client request token, right? And then here is where I'm implementing transaction. And I'm saying if any other transaction fails, don't commit, okay? So observe carefully here, I'm saying, uh, select the user one on line number 50, then I'm providing conditions here. That is, if th is the account active and does the person has the money to transfer? So uh, essentially the transfer amount should be greater than the account balance. Uh, if that is true, then, you know, decrement the amount from the person's account and then check the second person. So basically select the second person on line 58, check if the account is active on line 60. And then if it is true, uh, if all of that is true, all the situation, all the cases are met, then essentially add the amount. So then that means we are committing the transaction. So here I'm trying to essentially transfer a thousand dollars from user A to user B and all the conditions are valid. So let's run this. And hopefully I should see, um, you know, this to be changed. So I'll show you shortly. So again, running. Okay, that's great. Okay, so here I have 2000 and I have thousand. Great, right? Now let's talk about what happens if I'm gonna try, so I'm gonna try to fail one of the cases here. And let me just uh, make sure that I deposit 3000 and zero in the user one and user two, just to show you, right? Just to illustrate the concept again. Okay, so we are back, right? Both the accounts are active, right? Now, what if I do try to fail one of the conditions, for example, Let's say I'm trying to transfer $5,000. This is more than the person uh, what he has in the account. So here I do expect an error to be thrown, uh, right? So one other transaction is invalid. So I'm not going to commit that, right? So what you will see shortly on the console is an error, which is exactly what we expected. And if I refresh the console, nothing happened. The transaction was not committed. Absolutely great, right? So for example, this also works. Again, the same would is true if the flag, I set this flag to false, this transaction won't be committed. So anytime you have a need to implement transaction in DynamoDB, this is how you can do it. Further, I recommend to come to the official website of PyNamoDB where they have given this example in a very nice way. So please come and read this. Uh, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you a small demo on transaction in DynamoDB and how you can approach on implementing it. If you have any more questions, please list your question in the comments and I'll be very happy to uh, assist your questions uh, as and when I get time. Thank you so much and I'll leave all the resources for you guys to read. Uh, with that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. I'll see you in the next video.